The museum came about simply because of the collection that I'd gathered over the years and that and that started with me as a, as a child because of my family's background. Uh, my mother opened the Casbah Coffee Club which is where the Beatles truly began. Uh, my brother Peter became the original Beatles drummer and played for the Beatles for, for two years. Uh, and my father Neil Aspinall uh, became the roadie became the road manager and eventually became the managing director of Apple. So as a very young boy, and I've told this story to a few people, well not on on, uh, on camera to be honest, uh, you're talking about a kid who's you know climbing conquer trees with uh, the Sergeant Pepper medals stuck on the front of his denim jacket because he liked them. You know, uh, the, the trophy from the Sergeant Pepper album, the trophy that's on the floor by the feet, a uh, cash box trophy, that was on my mantelpiece as a kid because I liked the trophy. Um, the Casbah Coffee Club sign that was uh, that was being used in the driveway there was cement being mixed on the back of that sign and then it was all hosed down and thrown into a skip and I said to my mother can I have that sign and she said what do you want the old sign for and I went for my bedroom wall and she went well if you want to pull it out the skip you can have it you know I pulled it out put it on the bedroom wall but at that point this wasn't gathering these things because of the Beatles. It was gathering these things because I liked them. And then a little bit further on, um, obviously the whole, you know, waking up to the Beatles phenomenon, people approaching me in school, realizing the family's connection, talking to me about the Beatles, and then that triggered my interest in the Beatles um, and it was an interest that led to collecting so my mother gave me numerous items um, my brother Peter gave me numerous items um, my father Neil gave me numerous items and then I was collecting them my own rights as well for 30 years and I ended up with this huge collection um, a very unique collection um, and of course you think well it's all very wonderful sitting in a you know well it started off sitting in my house and then it outgrew the house and it ended up being in a in a in a, in a lock up and then the lock up grew to a bigger lock up uh, and then this idea for a Beatles museum was born 17 years ago um, toyed with it never really took it seriously gonna do it went back to it went off the idea, went back to it, it wasn't pressing and then I got serious about it about 10 years ago and decided if I was going to do it uh, it'd have to be on Matthew Street in Liverpool um, and that presented a problem in itself because Matthew Street is most probably the one, the most expensive real estate in Liverpool, we're doing it the American way there, real estate, did you get that? And uh, in Liverpool and two, everyone that's had property on Matthew Street aren't selling their property and I got close on three occasions uh, over a 10 year period and the final time I got that close that when it fell through I went I give up I give up and I was walking through a car park looking very forlorn on my way back to my car bumped into a friend I hadn't seen for four years who said what's wrong with your face um, and I just told him why I was looking so down, what this dream, I decided I'd had to let it go. And he said, that's a fantastic idea. He said, why are you letting it go? I said, there's no buildings on Matthew Street. I said, so, you know, I'm putting myself out of my misery and stopping this frustration. And he said, uh, he said, I've just been offered a building on Matthew Street. I said, when? He said, 30 minutes ago. I said, there's nothing for sale. He said, no, there is. I said, who else knows about it? He said, me. You know, I said, just you. He said, yeah. I said, are you buying it? He said, no. He said, do you want to? So I said, oh yeah, I, I really do. So he phoned the gentleman there and then. We met the following morning. And voila, here we are in our magical history Beatles Museum. <laughs>